All right, check this, right? Real quick disclaimer, real quick disclaimer before we even start this video, before we even start this video, right? If you're the type of female who all year long you've been putting up stats talking about how you're so independent, you don't need a man for nothing, you do everything yourself, but now that truck just dropped a little stimulus check, now you got your little stimmy in the mail, you went to Walmart, bought the little 50 inch flat screen TV, and now you're putting up stats on Facebook talking about tag a handyman, anybody know how to mount a TV on the wall? Nah, sis, get on YouTube since you're so independent, find out how to do it yourself. This video is probably not for you. And if you're the type of guy that I tell your baby mother, you can't watch your kids, you pick, you can't pick up your kids during these times because we're supposed to be quarantined and you don't want to get them sick, so you're trying to practice social distance, but you didn't see your kids before the corona, you probably not going to see them after the corona, this video is probably not for you. And last but not least, if you're the type of person that'll go out, put on a dope outfit, and then you realize the next day you didn't take a picture of yourself in the outfit, so you go on and throw on that same outfit just to take a picture, this video is probably not for you. You know what? This video might not be for me because that happened to me a couple times. Like we don't went out, bought out, big bottles, dope outfit, new sneakers, all that. I forgot to take a picture, so the very next day, throw that same outfit on, take a picture, and throw it in the dirty clothes so it can get washed. Anyways, these disclaimers had absolutely nothing to do with this video, but let's get started. They can't stand the facts. Nope. A lot of the insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black, but from the 716, we determined and we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Hey, what's good? Good as DJ Band in a black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. First off, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are being healthy. I hope you're practicing social distance. You know, I've been practicing social distance for a while, even before the corona. Hit, hit, hit. But, anyways, check this, right? If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you checked out any of my videos in the past, you already know you're part of the fam. You tied in with DJ Bandana Black and the Bandana fam. You're officially part of the Bandana fam. Shout out to the Bandana fam. Alright, check this, right? It's gonna be a quick one because I need you. I need you guys opinion i need you guys to hop in the comment and let me know is dmx bugging or does dmx actually have a point so um i don't know if you guys uh watch uh or listen to drink champs the podcast i listen to every episode probably twice just in case i miss anything shout out to nori and them but anyways um nori and da and dj effin or efn I don't really know how to say his name. It's Effin or EFN. Uh, they had DMX on the show. They were, it was like a video of them talking to DMX. And it was basically bringing up how all of the artists are doing like versus battles. Like Swiss Beats was putting this artist against this artist. Or even like how battle rappers is battling people. So they asked DMX and was like, yo, if it was one person who you would battle, who would it be? And you know who DMX said? It's crazy because before he said it, I was like, it's really only two other people that can kind of be compared in a battle with DMX. But he said Jay-Z. DMX said he want to battle Jay-Z. He said he would battle Jay-Z hit for hit, song for song, live on social media. Um, two problems with this. The first problem is Jay-Z don't really do social media. I've I probably seen Jay-Z tweet, and it might not even been him tweeting, probably once or twice in the last six years possibly. And the second thing is it's kind of hard when you battle someone like, I I'm going to give you my honest opinion. DMX versus Jay-Z, honestly, that can go either way because DMX has some hard records. He has some hit records. So did Jay-Z. With, with, with a battle, though, people are more so probably going to pick Jay-Z, not based just off of the music. If it's based just off of the music, just off of hit records, how it made you feel, uh, the impact of that record at that time, I'm not saying DMX would win, but he could win in that situation. But most people are going to base it off of success. If you compare money, obviously Jay-Z got more money. You're comparing success. Anything you're comparing it to besides music, you, you pretty much won't give it to um, give it to Jay-Z, which I think is unfair, but I think that might be the matchup of the century. And the crazy part about it is I think this could really raise a lot of money. Like, this can be a bag for both of them. I think, obviously, Jay-Z will probably donate to the charity. I'm not saying DMX is broke, but he probably... I, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I'm just saying Jay-Z probably don't need the money right now. So that's probably why he wouldn't do the battle. But is this a battle that you guys want to see? And if they did do this battle... Um, who would you guys go with? Are you going with Jay-Z or are you going with DMX? My only thing with this thing is that um, if they do the battle, they got to they gotta throw out two records. Um, DMX has to throw out, um, what was that joint? Uh, what was it? I Know What Girls Like. And Jay-Z got to throw away the Girls, Girls, Girls. Throw away them two records. I don't want to hear them two um, in a battle. Like Those two records was kind of throwaway records for me. I know a lot of people like those records. But me personally, uh, it just didn't do it for me. But I want to hear from you guys, Dan Dana fam. Hop in the comments. Let me know. You can just comment DMX or Jay-Z. Just DMX or Jay-Z. Let me know. I want to do a quick little poll to see where, where, where you guys are feeling with the music. Honestly, I think this is probably like the best matchup. The only other matchup I would like to see would be maybe... It probably never happened would be Young Jeezy and Gucci Man, or I like to see Gucci Man and T.I. battling for the whole who started the trap thing because they both made great music, both had very good impact. I think that if uh, if Gucci Man and T.I. battle, 
I think a lot of the people in the South are gonna go, even though they're both from the South, a lot of people from the South is gonna pick Gucci, man. A lot of people from up north where I'm from is probably gonna pick T.I. just because he's a little bit more relatable um, with, with the music and his impact and everything also too. That situation, I'm probably definitely gonna go with T.I. I wasn't really the biggest Gucci man uh, fan. I mean, I respect what he did. He, Gucci man really laid down the foundation for a lot of artists that we really rock with from the South, like on the low. Gucci man probably like one of the top three A&Rs in the game right now. But I don't want to drag this video out. Also, I want to tell you guys, at the end of this video, I do have an um, artist that we are promoting. Shout out to THC, Cody Young. Uh, this is going to be a snippet of his song. For his full song, I will put the links in the description so you can go show him some love, go follow him, subscribe to his stuff, uh, stream his music. Shout out to the homie. Definitely been holding down the channel. He's like one of the... Uh, day one members of the bandana fam. So we're gonna show him some love uh, right after I get in the talk We're gonna play a small clip of his music Like I said I will put links in the description so you can hear the whole song so you can check out some of his other music He got some dope music. He got some other dope stuff that's going on out there, too Y'all gotta follow him on social media definitely good peoples. Um, I, I, I vouch for him. There's definitely good peoples um, Anyways, it's DJ bandana black mr. Well connected even more respected and before I get out of here, if anybody want that smoke in Call of Duty, tonight at midnight, you already know we stream live on Twitch at midnight. Uh, username DJ Bandana Black. My username on Xbox is DJ Bandana Black too if you want to hop in uh, on the fun. Anyways, Mr. I am Buffalo. I'm out. Popped out in the foreign, draped and drip, yeah. Uh -huh. I know my money, but my own. Uh -huh. I'm moving on the incline to get more rich. Uh -huh. My lifestyle is I'll be keeping it lit. Hey. I'm bossing in the fast lane, just me and the chicks, yeah. Hey. Overtime hustling like I'm balling bricks, yeah. Hey. DJ Ben Ben Bandana.